Hello, I'm Dan Hogan, and welcome to Centel Spotlight, the first in a series of programs featuring community events in and around the Winter Haven area, including Eagle Lake and Eloise, and also Auburndale and Lake Alfred as well. Today, we're in downtown Winter Haven at the Downtown Park, and this is all part of the cleanup committee, which is kind of interesting, and we're very fortunate to have with us the chairman and co-chairman of the Park Cleanup Committee, which, as I understand, is a division of the Beautification Committee. And speaking of beauty, let's talk to the most beautiful one first. Her name is Mary Carolyn Puckett. Have I got that right? That's correct. And I do understand that you are the chairperson of the Beautification Committee of the Winter Haven Chamber of Commerce. That's right. And also, these two gentlemen standing behind you, I believe, are in charge of this particular park cleanup today. Is that correct? That's right. Okay, if we may, let's have a word or two with them. First of all, Mr. Carl Strang, I believe. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Got to get the names right. That's right. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm colorblind, yeah. but I understand Carl Strang is wearing blue. Is that correct? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, my, my Gucci cleanup clothes are in the wash, and I couldn't wear them today. I think that's where mine are too. Uh huh. Okay. Now. You are chairman, right, of this park cleanup today. I'm sorry, we're, uh, we have equality here. I'm a co-chairperson. Uh, co-chairperson. Yes, and All this right. is my co-chair, Mr. Okay. Uh-huh. And uh, nice to see you out today. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> I see you have a sense of humor about this, yeah. and that's very, I imagine, much part of what's going on here today. You have to laugh while you work. That's correct. And whistle while you work. Right. Now, let me ask you this. If the three of you, uh-oh, She's shivering here. It's cold. <laughs> How cold is it? <laughs> too cold to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll warm up together. Right. Now, how many different areas of the city are being cleaned up today? Uh, Lester, could you answer that? There are 17 different areas overall that we're trying to clean up uh, from here out to Cypress Garden Boulevard, up and down the median strips, in the parks uh, north of the city, Inman Park. We're planting azaleas, uh, cleaning just generally trying to spruce up the city. Uh-huh. And can you give me some idea of what actually I just participated in by scraping some paint off here? We're at, we're at the downtown park, and this is the Women Civic League Fountain. Is that correct? Right. This fountain is probably built during the 20s, wouldn't you say? I would say so. And uh, it's being refurbished today and going to be repainted completely. Uh, we're going to replace some of the wood in the uh, fountain and then ultimately we hope to have a large Boston fern in the middle of the arcade here behind you. Will that be coming down direct from Boston then? <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be a gift of uh, the Garden Club. Oh, okay. Well, my mother's from Boston. I was going to say the next trip down, she could bring it on down, you know, if that's where it was coming from. Save you a little hauling expense there. Now, I'm just curious. You're wearing that bright orange. Is that in case you get near the road, I'm nothing will happen to you? I'm going out to Cypress Gardens to work at the uh, Citrus Dome, clean the area out there, and this is for um, so the cars can see us when we're... Okay, very fine. Uh-huh. I think that's nice to have that safety feature. Is that a requirement, or is that just um, what I you're doing? It was requested by some <laughs> of us that would be there. I see. Okay. Well, it was nice chatting with all of you, and good luck in this cleanup. And I understand the intent is to beautify the area for out-of-town visitors that come in from not only up north, but also just around the area here in Florida that come in and see a very pretty Winter Haven, a very nice idea. And this is the second cleanup, is that correct? The second one, and I understand that Lake Alfred has patterned one after this, and there will be sometime in the future doing the same thing. Uh -huh. So the idea is catching on, and that's great. The cleaner the area, the better the visitors will like it, and perhaps come back again and again. And that's good to know. Thank you so much. Thank you. We better move because the trees are coming down here in downtown Winter Haven. Paul Rudder, supervisor of the city parks, told us that crews were out in many areas of the city. They were cleaning up the Women's Civic League Fountain on the corner of 4th and Central, sprucing up the area around the downtown water tower, clearing debris from around the railroad tracks, and cleaning up curb areas. Out of curiosity, Paul, how long have you been supervisor of the city parks? I've been almost nine years. Uh-huh. 
And I bet you enjoy all this outside work. Very much. Uh -huh. Can't tie me to a disc. You can't? Okay. <laughs> There was a whole lot of raking going on in the downtown park. Joyce Davis, executive vice president of the chamber, pointed out to us that this event there. draws out many people that actually have their own gardeners at their own individual homes, but choose to do this work themselves in order to help beautify their community. Some of the prominent well, right area now, officials who were participating included the mayor of Winter Haven, Paul Kate, and the superintendent of schools, John Stewart. The chairman of last year's park cleanup is Mrs. Chris Cooney, and we spoke with her. How did this come about in the first place? The decision was made by whom exactly to start cleaning up the parks in the downtown area? Well, uh, the beautification committee decided to do it. Uh, my youth group, the Orange Blossoms 4-H unit, uh, have co come down to the park every November and clean, spend a day cleaning, mm -hmm. and trying to help the city. and. I brought this to the attention of the beautification committee and they decided that they would like to enlarge on it and really have a big citywide day. Now I understand that according to what group has the biggest turnout, an award of recognition will be given, is that correct? Yes, yes that's correct. And fortunately my youth unit won it last year, <laughs> but I don't know about this year. American Red Cross workers Libby King and Hilda Glass were on hand just in case some of the workers needed first aid. What exactly is the purpose of the Red Cross being here today? What do you anticipate as some of the needs of these fine helpers throughout the park cleanup area? Well, we have the minor injuries. We have the sand spurs, the thorns, and the blisters. And that's just about the extent of it. And has anybody had any trouble as yet? Not this morning. I believe they have the hang of it. Well, I think it was very nice of you to come by here just in case. And you told me something a little bit earlier about your particular unit has been one of six to do what? We've been asked to participate in the Super Bowl. They've written the Red Crosses and asked them to come over and man the first aid station. And we'll send a group over, instructors and the van. And who is that charming lady sitting in the passenger seat in there? That's all the glass. And I understand she's been with the Red Cross for quite a while, is that correct? Uh, she is our Red Cross. Yes, she is. 